So, and Karim, all of us, I say this about, it's so random. It's like, I don't know what happens to him. It's like, what, 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 what in, installment of the patch of Skynet he's got. Because he wasn't, he was at like 1700 ELO a couple of days ago. Now, all of a sudden, he's almost 2k ELO. He is a low key good war player. I know, it's not even low key anymore, I don't think. We just put his water booming on the map. Anyways, he is going up against Dennis, who is, uh, you know, another 2100 ELO player, especially with the Civilization Hauser. But he's rather rusty. I'm pretty sure he's taken a bit of a break from the game because I haven't seen him in a while. So he, his ELO at the moment is like 1800 or something. So he's definitely taken a break because his ELO is, uh, he's lost a lot of ELO. And uh, if this is his first game back, Going up against Karim is scary as your first game back. <laughs> because if you miss the mark on even one, make one little mistake, you're going to get bombarded by bombards. Or you're going to get 12 abusive gunned. You're going to get domestically abused by Abbas gunned. Buff Hauser, please. Please don't buff Hauser. 30% hero in the middle of the map, along with, wow. So Great Plains, generally, you always have a really good uh, big treasure. And technically, these are you know, quite medium to big treasures, but they're like the worst ones you can get. 30% <laughs> like, uh, hero is okay, but it doesn't give you any tempo, really. And this is just dog shit. I mean, it, it's technically good for Hauser, but that's about it. Karim's just picked up 50 wood. Let's go have a look at the decks. Whilst we wait. Very standard uh, Hauser deck. Treasures on this good on this map, only good for Lakota. Well, normally you get the uh like the 190 XP or something. Um, and then there might be a, a villager treasure here as well. Um so you've got to bear that in mind. Which I actually think is um, is insane for USA because USA can pop early Minutemen um, and kind of guard these treasures. So it's also good for Spain because Spain can pick them up early as well. I do I do, I do always say matchups, uh, tier list matchups, um, can vary hugely depending on the map you're playing on. Like you know, Africa sieves are already OP, um, but on maps with livestock, you know they're they're that much better. Um, you know, things like that. India on a livestock map, et cetera, et cetera. You, you catch my drift, you know, ports or auto on a water map, you know, things like that. Okay, age up coming in at just gone three minutes. It's 15 vil age up. In comes hard and iron axes. Okay, Karim lurking around. Karim has gone for starting TP. He's almost age up. <laughs> Love it. So he's gone for the TP. Mosque start. What deck are we going to see? Three, two, one. We're going to see a, uh, uh, it's a full land map and we see two galleys in the deck. Interesting. He has named it age three. So probably going to see some age three play. I'm guessing we're going to see age three play, but we could see the industrial as well. Plenty of cards there. We're not going to see the church card though. Uh, or the, or the, the mosque um, text, unfortunately. Um, or Moss Construction, which is, uh, it's always fun to see Karim do that. Always fun to see Karim do the, uh, the Moss text. And we're seeing two outposts first card. With the Mabu. With the Mabu. Gone with the Quartermaster age up. Karim likes to do age three play or age two play with Quartermaster. So I think if you see, if you ever see Quartermaster age up with Karim, expect age three push. I think, I, I think that's the way. If you see 500 food age up, then expect like early Sparhee slash industrial stuff. Oh, did Dennis forget about these cows? Oh, Dennis. Oh, Dennis. But if you're Dennis right now, right? And you see these two cows. Oh, does the spy not? Does the spy not collect it? Oh, wow. 
Oh, the spy does. Oh, it does. Oh, so you see that, right? You see that and you think, oh, what the hell just happened? And in comes the spy out of nowhere. You didn't even see an explorer there. And just like that, double whammy. Kills the explorer and takes his livestock. It's like getting divorced and fucking your wife at the same time. Karim just did both. Okay, so five minutes 30, we've got, what, five raiders? Do we see... We do not see the uh, dispatch raiders tech yet, but I imagine we will see that. Because usually you can see, like, ten raiders at sort of uh, the five minute 30 mark. It's just about how quick you are. So we are going to see a load of raiders, and, and ten raiders would probably do, do well versus these outposts. Karim's got the perfect amount of resources to age right now. Oh, interesting. So he went for Silk Road as well. I didn't I didn't even see that. So he went for Silk Road into two outposts. 700 coin. Now 700 wood. Which turns it which turns a 700 resource into I think 875. You know, plus plus the four hundred, which turns into a five hundred uh, five hundred wood. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Coming in with Minutemen, nice, just to save that TP. And look how many raiders are here, and he's just going for it. Fine, that's that's fair enough. Bash of Boosics, don't forget, you know, they are really good Minutemen. They're good against heavy heavy infantry, but they, they're worse against every other type of unit because they have less HP than a normal Minuteman. Um, so that's the pros and cons to the Bash of Boosics. So nice. Dennis getting some... Dennis doing some damage here. He's completely ignoring these, these outposts, which is definitely the right play. Yeah, the, the, that house is up for grabs. So is this Moss, probably. So he's going to do as much damage as possible. Whilst just booming behind this. H3 almost coming in. What is he aging up with? He's aging up with the scout. Perfect. So the hazards are going to pop. Oh, but just in time. The raiders are popping back. No. Oh. Is he going to get a nice snare? You want to move these cows out of the way uh, just in case? No, it doesn't matter anyway. He does get a snare on. With TC5. Oh, nice micro there. Sacrificing that one to snare the four. Very, very nice play there by Dennis. Takes down a TP. Takes down a house. Only loses a few raiders for it. So very, very nice. And he caused the, you know, this TC to have a lot of villages inside of it um, the whole time. So he slowed down his economy there. Wow, look at how sneaky that town center is. So start to go for a stable here. Interesting. Okay. Delhi just going straight in for the raid and he's going to find one villager, possibly two. And the raiders are nowhere near. Two villager pickup. But he's going to be happy with that. Oh, he finds another villager. Where's she going? She's going on a hike. It's dangerous out there, love. Getting found out big time. Free villager raid. That is huge. Very, very nice. We talked about Dennis being... Uh... Oh, the Mabur getting found, though. Oh, that was unfortunate. Imagine if it killed that again. That would actually would have been a huge killing that explorer. Delaying that university get up. So we do have one uh, university... It is uh, going to have the bonus, the max bonus of the TP, Fort, and TC. Now he's getting another university down, and that's going to have the bonus of just one trade post at the moment. Might put down another Fort or a TC. Third TC going down for Karim. Where's all this wood coming from? Holy cow. What does he want with all that wood? He's already got two of these techs. So that his villagers are going to be uh, producing like very, very fast. Wow. And now he's got the third one, the Grand Bazaar as well. That's 300 wood. So he's going for the max villager production. Wow. It's going to need that very, very shortly then. 
because these guys ain't going to mess about. TCs, don't forget, do get built slower now for the Ottomans. Two Falconets coming in. I don't feel like two Falconets is the right card here. Emrin? Problem is, these are just... They're just so... Um, once they get found out, they're just so out of the way that there's just nothing protecting this. And they're, they're just going to easily be up for grabs to be able to, to be taken down. And this is just not a good mass right now. Okay, five more veteran cav, coming, uh, cav archers coming in. Nice. Okay, there are a few skirms. Nice. Picks up another 45 XP. He's going to be happy with that. Town watch. Really? Town watch? Okay, you're the boss. There's a lot of stuff there. There's a lot of mass. You need a lot of cavalry archers, bro. I'm not going to lie. Why are you pushing in? Why are you pushing in? You're free TC booming. Why are you pushing, Karim? I beg. You don't need to push, bro. You're going to out-boom him. <laughs> You've got all of the all of the mosque speed text for your villagers, and you're pushing in. Although, I'm not going to lie. That is a really nice uh, uh, micro uh, position uh, with all of these uh, trees in the way. You're basically taking the high ground. Uh, Karim saying Anik and I have the high ground, but no pull trick, no pull trick with the Falconets, and the Falconets are going to get easily taken down there. I don't even know what the Falconets are attacking there. Finally getting onto the skirms. Delis are in there, but the Berbers do well versus them. Uh, the Falconet just whacked uh, an elite Berber camel in the face. And uh, Karim was always going to lose that fight, no matter what, no matter how much high ground he had. Look at this. Krim already on 30 villagers. Already on 30 villagers. Basically doing a rookie build here. Except rookie wouldn't have made that, that sort of mistake. Okay, Abbas Gun's coming in now. Oh, damn it. He's, he's on 36 villagers. Like, a couple of, like, just give it a few minutes and you're on, like, 50 villagers, bruh. You know? Look at his score. He's catching up even after just getting whacked like that. 29 vils for Hauser. He does have university um, eco. He's getting Berbers as well. So he's aged up with the Berbers into age three. And that's going to give him access to lots of Berbers. I think, how many is it? Six or five? Five. So that's pretty nice. Now he's just going Skirm Goon, essentially, with Raiders, which is always an effective build. Fodio Tactics. That is now an age free card, so he'll be shipping that at some point, no doubt. Going for the uh, eight semi, uh, eight semi fat and cow. Interesting. Wants an extra bit of eco, by the looks of it. Still got a couple of Sanga Cattles, though. Sees a herd, wants to go for it. Karim backing up early, very, very good. Doesn't wait to see the army. And maybe Town Watch as well, giving him uh, that huge amount of uh, sight. Probably actually saw it quite early. So big, big brain by Karim to go for that Town Watch. Wow, look at his re he's 42 vils, soon to be 45. What's his next shipment going to be? I think five cavalry archers or cavalry combat would be safe. Uh, Mamelukes would be a good option as well. Can we check if Dennis knows about the TCs? Good shout. Let's have a look. See if Den Den, he doesn't see them. He does not see them. He doesn't even see the herds over here. So he's, he's, he's looking. He's just, he's double checking. He's really trying to, really trying to um, contain him here. See what he can find. That's going to distract him probably. Still doesn't see this TC. It's right in the corner. So Karim 
do, did a fantastic job with those TCs. It's high risk, high reward. You know, it's very risky because if they get found out, then they're very, very uh, weak to being taken down. But at the same time, they're in a fantastic spot. But oh no, I think he's going to see it here. Unless he's going to move at the last second. Oh, he sees it. He sees it. Like I said, high risk, high reward. Bodio Tactics coming in. Does he have anything? Does he have a trump card coming in? He has Mavalix popping. But they're not going to... The timing just isn't going to be there. That is unfortunate. The timing is not there. But with Minutemen... With Minutemen... Get those Mamelukes in there. Minutemen coming. There they are. More Minutemen coming. Maybe we've got ourselves a game. Double Basha Boozak's coming in. Those things are going to whack. The Mamelukes are just going to tank super hard. And he just wedged himself in against all of the Falani. So the Falani just can't attack where they want to attack. And just like that. Okay, Karim. Okay, I see it. Let's go. 53 villagers. <laughs> Show us what you got. A classic classic Mameluke shipment coming in to save the day. Still has two of them alive on full HP. Hard diggity damn. Tanzamat coming in now. Good timing on that. Cav combat coming in as well. It's going to benefit the Mamelukes. It's going to benefit the cavalry archers. We still got five Abbas. So he hasn't lost any Abbas guns. Oh no, he's lost one. Damn. Damn. Impressive shit. Still got a silver mine in his base, but there's not a much of it left. But he's got a safe one here. He's got a safe one here. Lots of herds to be had over here. It's nice safe herd behind his base as well. He's only on one military building right now. Only the one. And the remass from Hauser is going to be insane. Look at this remass from Hauser. This is what, why Hauser is so goddamn good. Look at this remass. He's still got that raider big button. That's five raiders apiece. He's got double um, double universities. So he's going to be getting a lot of that export. Super, super scary. He's got some... What has he got here? He's got some griots. Look at this, double, double racks in javelin riders. These things are one pop as well. They do a lot of damage, 50 damage almost to uh, cavalry, which is kind of insane. Oh, look at that Mamelukes, nearly 1700 HP. Oh my goodness. 39 hand attack as well. Cavalry archers now 358 HP as well. And Dennis is going back in for it. He's 4K scored down. He's 4K scored down. But I just don't trust Karim. He's still on one military building. But he's aging up. Okay, he's aging up with the Grand Vizier as well. And Dennis is pushing in at a scary time. Karim has repaired his TC, which is good. Now, are we going to see... Oh, my God. Look at the resources. He's aging up. And look at the resources. Oh, you've, we've got to see five spy his next card. Imagine if he could ship that, be shipping that right now. This timing would be scary. Dennis wants a piece of the action with these herds over here. Now it's time to push down. You've got to push down before the agent gets there, Karim, I beg. He doesn't have a lot of siege here, though. He does not have a lot of siege. These uh, javelin riders only have 12 siege. Down come the units, but he's drag boxing everything. is going to be super slow. But the Spahis are coming in now as well behind all of this. Where's the Grand Vizier? Where are these spies coming on? I, you can't ship it from here now. Coming in from this TC. More cavalry archers. Look, he's almost max pop. Look, he's got 72 veils. He's just waiting for his timing here now. Waiting for that timing. Oh, that's it. Bait him in. Bait him in. This is going to be juicy. Oh, Basabuki juicy. 
the five. These are these are industrial spy as well with 1,000 HP. Let's go, boys! All I can hear is. But it doesn't matter, the spies are gonna tear through everything here. The Mamelukes are still there, two of them still alive with 1600 HP. He's buying back his explorer, that's gonna have the eye of the assassin crash on as well. <laughs> oh, nom 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 nom. He's playing Pac Man and he's eating up these Fulanis. I'll tell you what though, those Griots, those Griots are doing work against the cavalry, wow. Wow, two more spy. Where did they come from? Anybody's guess. And oh my god. Oh, Jenny pulls it as soon as the guard camera coming. <laughs> and look at his resources. He's 20 minutes. He was in industrial. He had 78 cavalry. My god. This is Skynet 3.0. We we've discovered Skynet 3.0. I wouldn't be surprised if if, if Karim is actually 2K Elo now.